Hey guys, how is everyone doing? I know that I have been MIA for two weeks, I think. Yeah, but I just wanted Isabel, you know, I wanted to focus on Isabel, give her the time she needs to get over the cold that she had. And I didn't want to take away from spending time with her by holding up a camera. For today's vlog, I want to show you guys how to DIY your own, how to DIY your own um, first year baby album, right? Because I, when, before Isabel was born, I was so excited and, you know, still I'm very happy that she's here, obviously, but I went out and I thought I'd buy one of those 12 months um, photo albums um, that shows the pictures as they as they age but after I looked into it I even bought the album and I took it home I thought to myself this does not describe how I feel about my baby that's about to come into the world you know this album doesn't show the love that I want her to receive from the album when she's of age to understand it so I shoved that album aside and I just stick random pictures in it and decided to create my own um, 12 month photo album. So, so this is her, this is Isabel's baby album and um, zoom in on that a little bit. So what I did, I got a plain scrapbook, it was just pink and then I, I put little stuff on it that I thought, you know, that might I don't know what I didn't know what she was like yet and I I certainly I'm still learning you know who she is but I put little stuff on it like her name and I put a uh, sassy diva and little princess and a little baby carriage and a, a crown and some diamond studs and some you know everything girly this is made for a girl guys sorry but um you can do the same for a boy with more masculine things you know more things for a boy but it was very easy because isabel is a girl so it was so easy to do this and then i put down here so it's isabel remember this moment so yeah and then this was all this was done before she was even born and then when she was born I took this picture at the hospital I took that with my phone actually and I put it in there and then I come this was also done before she was born as well you know this is her journey between the, the from from when she was born to one year old and you know her journey her life and I started off the first one as I this, as soon as I got the first month was over and I got the opportunity I started um doing her first um her first pick and decorating it and doing it how I want it and what this does is give you the opportunity to write things about your child that you would want your child to know how you felt at that particular moment when you had her or when you see a picture how you feel about you know what was happening in that picture you can't really do that with a photo album all you do is you stick the picture in it and i i thought that my baby deserved a better memory you know a better capture of what she used to be like when she was a baby and even though i do have a diary um for her as well that i've been writing in from when i was pregnant with her and i just write in as the time goes by what she's like and you know the things she loved to do so that uh, when she's of age and I give it to her, you know, she'll be able to say, you know what, this, you know, thank you, mom. I really appreciate this. But not just that, but she will, she will have the knowledge of what she used to be like as a kid and uh, as a baby. And you know, when she reach of age and decide to have kids of her own, she could give this book to her kids you know to show them what she was like and give that diary to her kids or tell them well this is what i was like when i was a baby and this whole this whole thing that parents do when their kids do something and they're like oh they got that from their daddy or how oh, they got that from their mommy she will know that her grandkids did or did not get this habit from her 
<laughs> if you know what I mean. So yeah, so this is her first um, her, her newborn picture. I started it off with a newborn picture and I want you to live every day knowing how much I love you. Always stay true to who you are. And that's what I do guys. I try to hand them with like little quotes, you know, that important quotes that I think are a little like life lessons. So these are the things that I'm working with today, guys. I never select them beforehand. I just go ahead and um, choose as I go along. I don't overthink it too much. I just say what I feel or write what I feel when I look at the picture and what I think best describe the emotion at the time. All right. The first thing I do is choose the color tape that I want to use. And today, I am going to use the gold tape. And what I'm going to use this to do is to just line the borders to make it all nice and neat and tidy. Now with the page being bordered, the next thing I'm going to do, it's not perfect, but it will do. The next thing I'm going to do is put the picture where I want it. Now you could put it wherever you want it, whether it's to the side or in the middle or wherever, depending on what you plan to write. So I am going to put this to the side, leaving a good amount of space over this side. Okay, so that's where we're at. So with that done, what we're going to be doing now is put stickers around it. Just put a lot of stickers.
So there you go guys, my photo album, my 12 month baby girls is about photo album capturing her, you know, her simplest moments. You know, it's not done through a photo shoot, it's just done with a phone, with my cell phone. And I just went to the dollar store and I got stickers and stuff that can help me express how I feel to have this precious life, you know, being a part of my life. And you know, making great memories for her and a book that she can always cherish and look at with pride and say, my mom did this for me, you know? So yeah, memories, that's how you can make their first year photo album very special by personalizing it and making it theirs and not just something that you picked up in the store already done or whatever. Take the time to show your daughter or your son how much you actually love her or him. Take the time to show them how much you were so super excited that they came into your life, you know? Give them a taste of what it felt like when they were born. This is my token to Isabel and I hope she loves it when she's of age to understand it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and please go ahead, do try it. Take you don't have to do it all at once. You can take your time. Isabel's birthday is in two days. Her birthday is on Wednesday, right? In two days. And I'm just finishing this album. She's going to be two years old and this is her 12 month photo album. But what I did was took the pictures and put them away knowing what month they are. So if you're going to be delaying the process of putting the book together, you definitely need to take the pictures for that month and write on the back of them what month it is. Because trust me, with the baby brain and being a new mom or a mother in general and everything going on you get it all mixed up okay you get it all mixed up so if you're gonna delay it like i have make sure you take the pictures each month and put what time what month it is on the back of it so that when you're ready to use it you know you know which month you've captured because sometimes you can't really tell them apart especially when they're really close together like month behind month you know so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video Give it a thumbs up if you really like it and please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already and I'll talk to you all in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye.